Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very impromptu. I wasn't going to film this arriving at all, but it's here and there's been a bit of chitter chatter. Chitter chatter? Is that still a term? I don't, I'm not really sure, but there's been a lot of talk on uh, beer forums, Instagram, that sort of thing, in the last 24 hours about a whole range of beers coming to Tesco from two pretty big craft breweries, which I kind of just wanted to talk about a bit as well, but more importantly, I've just got this big box of beer delivery from Beer Hop. I've not used Beer Hop before. Um, I selected their cheaper delivery option, which was like 48 hour delivery. I ordered it on Tuesday night. So in theory, it should have been coming on Friday because obviously they weren't working on Tuesday night, like 10 o'clock when I ordered it. Um, but it's Thursday and it's here already and it's only like 10 a.m. on Thursday. So that is some incredible service from them. It's a shed load of Sierra Nevada stuff. That's what they specialise in, American beer, um, and I noticed that some of the stuff was becoming discontinued and I thought, well to be honest, uh, Paul's Beer Reviews, if you're not aware, I'm sure you are, but if you're not aware of Paul's Beer Reviews, go check his channel out because he's does some incredible stuff and knows a hell of a lot more than I do. But yeah, he had some of these beers from Beer Hop and I thought, you know what, I've got to get involved. So, let's find out what we've got. Right. Ooh. Okay, nice little thing there, founder's uh, brewery image on the back, and then, oh my days, well, right, firstly, there's some freebies in here, so, there is a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale beer mat, which uh, is going to take pride of place up here somewhere. Nice. Um, <laughs> Jack Link's original beef jerky. Um, that's interesting. I bought three packs of that in the supermarket not two days ago to do a review on and now they've sent me another pack. I actually don't know if I bought the original or not, so if not that's getting added to the collection and well either way I will just enjoy these on my own otherwise. So uh, Beer Hop, thank you very much. That is uh, some fantastic customer service already. Now then, let's get into the beers. I'm just going to start here and work my way through. So, we have got... Now that is good wrapping, I must say. Extra kind of safety for the beers, but it's all cardboard and just kind of weird soft cardboard mesh stuff. But that is pretty cool. Right. First one is California IPA. Put this knife away before I... Uh, I stab myself. Sierra Nevada Dankful IPA, seriously hoppy. The first bottle. Now, this is the one I'm really, really looking forward to. Sierra Nevada Wonderland Nectarine Ale. That, I think, is going to have to queue jump a lot of my other reviews. Trying to use the monitor to see where I can put this down. So there we go. Right. Sierra Nevada Wild Little Thing Slightly Sour Ale. Is this a proper sour? Is this just, I don't know what this is, but it looked interesting, so I thought we'd uh, give it a go. And another Sierra Nevada big little thing. This time it's the IPA Imperial IPA. That's a nine percenter. That's uh, that is rather exciting. And then Sierra Nevada Keller Weiss Bavarian style wheat beer. I do like a wheat beer. I'm pretty excited by that one. Sierra Nevada Porter, big Porter fan as you probably know, so uh, yeah, very excited by that one as well. I'm sure I'm going to have room for all of these on here, but we'll give it a go. Sierra Nevada Hop Bullet Double IPA, that one is 8% in tiny letters. Couple more to go. 
Sierra Nevada Fantastic Haze Imperial IPA, 9%. Tell you what, to say that these are imports and that the percentage on a lot of them is pretty high, they really weren't that expensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not cheap beer, but I think it was very reasonable, assuming the taste is good, which, let's be honest, it's, it's going to be pretty, isn't it? Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. That is uh, that's quite exciting. All right, how many more do we have? Two more. Ah, to go with the Sierra Nevada Porter, we have the Sierra Nevada Stout. Finally, we have Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo Tropical IPA. That sounds delicious as well. So let me get rid of the box for a minute. Whoop. Stick that one on there. Look at those for a, uh, an array. I am uh, really excited to get into these. That is a lot of good looking beer right there. Look at all those beers. I think I'm gonna have to do a Sierra Nevada special over a week or something like that to, uh, to get all these in, but they look properly, properly good, don't they? I don't have an awful lot to say more to say about these beers right now. Obviously, a couple of them are uh, coming kind of like their end of life. They're no longer going to be um, brewed for at least a while. So um, I can't remember which ones exactly. But if you jump on the Beer Hot website, they tell you which ones are soon to be no longer. So you can go and grab those while you still can if you want to. So this supermarket lark, I think it was yesterday morning that Tesco announced that Cloudwater or Cloudwater announced that they would be in Tesco. Um, from next Monday with I think it was four of their own beers and then a four pack of collaboration beers with other breweries um, they all look great um, I made a joke on my Instagram yesterday saying um, basically they get announced I got excited they announced what the hops were in them and every single one contained Citra so sad face for me will I get them I probably will still give them a go just to see what they're like but unfortunately I'm not that excited just on that basis but it's great for people in Tesco it's great for Tesco um, it's probably great for the brewery and it's definitely great for those other breweries they're doing a calibration with to really get their name out there because they are fairly small ones to be honest so who is it not great for well there's been a lot of argument online about it's not great for independent bottle shops and independent retailers because the price of the beers from Cloudwater and these other breweries that they're doing collabs with are normally, well, kind of twice the price and up of what they're going to be in Tesco, we think. And they worry that why would anyone buy from an independent when they can buy a Cloudwater beer in Tesco? Well, I mean, these beers certainly aren't the same beers that they're selling at independents. They are Tesco specific as far as I can tell. Um, but is it good for them? Well, I don't know. For me personally, I don't think I've actually had a cloud water yet. There's a lot of people rate it really highly. I just, it's just not one I've got around to. Um, I would be interested to try them from Tesco to see what the quality is like on a cheaper beer. And that will tell me whether I'm interested in investing significantly more in some of their, some of their more premium offerings. But I understand the concern that people, why would they spend five, six, seven, eight quid on a single beer when they can get the same effect, the same, it's not the same, but it's the same brewery in Tesco for three quid. So I get it, I'm not sure if it's good or not, but to be honest, if it improves the overall quality of craft beer in Tesco, then thumbs up. Not that it's all bad at the minute, of course, there's some great stuff in there, but there's also some not so brilliant offering so yeah that's that bit and then last night i think this information was leaked or accidentally put live before it should have been because it was a uh, there was a blog post put up on this brewery's website that then got taken down but people had spotted on the shelf in tesco some new labels that would have been put there possibly prematurely um waiting for these new bottles to come in and that brewery is vault city now we did feature vault city on the channel a few weeks ago i reviewed their strawberry skies sour it's kind of one of their premium higher abv ones super fruity thing really strong and let's be honest they're pretty expensive um the same issue has erupted again bolts are pretty niche they pretty much only do 
fruit heavy sours and uh, for me personally I am very happy to see them in Tesco at a lower price point. I enjoy their products but it's not the beer go-to for me that I'm going to spend seven, eight, nine quid on. If I'm in the position to spend that on a beer, to be honest, it's going to be it's not going to be that, right? Let's just let's just say that. I'm excited about it and it will inevitably lead more people on to trying sours for the first time and then hopefully for that brewery they'll go on and buy their products. Now there's always a big debate about all these very fruit heavy sour beers even really beer. That's not for this kind of, uh, not for this video but I'm, yeah I kind of, I kind of sit on the side of I'm not really sure that they are but anyway it's irrelevant. It's made as beer and it sells as beer and people enjoy it as beer just not everyone has to enjoy it and that's fine. So yeah they were the big controversies. Um, Ultimately, it's really weird that people are getting upset the fact that the brewery they like is now big enough and successful enough to get into Tesco, which what do you want them to stay kind of low forever? I mean, you know, these, these people are businesses at the end of the day and they've got to make some money, so um, otherwise they're doing it wrong. It's all good being in it for the love of beer, but ultimately, if you want your ideas to be successful, then, you know, you've got to do these things. So, yeah. That's it. That's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you will be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Is it too early to drink one of these yet? It's like 10.30am. I think it's too early, annoyingly. See you later.